All right, what's up, guys? We're back with another one. So today, I want to do a real quick Sora's guide. So I've just been playing him the past few days. He's really, really fun. I think he's a great character for new and kind of just like casual players as well. Uh, let's just get right into it. He's a very kind of aggressive, like offense-based character, and he's based around plus frame. So real quick, let me just talk what frame advantage is. Uh, frame advantage just means you can move before your opponent. So you do a move, for example, this. You see, he's plus one. That means it's my turn. If your opponent presses a button and I press a button, I'm going to win. I get a combo. So what happens is you put the fear of this frame advantage into your opponent's head and they block all day. So the key moves here. Ready? Dash L. This button's broken for everybody. It's plus two. The medium punch is plus one. Ready? EX hands plus one. And then the EX uh, earthquake plus four. So those four moves give him frame advantage. So basically the game plan with him Ready, I'll just do a little example. This is just me pressing buttons here, right? It's kind of cycle through these like frame advantage moves. And your opponent is going to either mess up, they're going to press them at the wrong time, or if they just block. So ready, watch her, watch her life as I just, I just do like random block strings. Look at this, it's crazy. It's all chip damage. Right? That's, that's just all chip damage. So he does a lot of chip damage. He keeps a lot of pressure. He forces your opponent to take action. Now, does that sound very scary? Not really. You know, it's that's how he was in the last game. In the last game, he was garbage. He stunk. Well, in Rising, he got some crazy buffs. So in addition to this, this move is, is insane, but everybody has it. But his ultimate skills are ridiculous. Now, the first one, you've probably seen this if you played him, but the ultimate version of his punch here, ready? I'm gonna go full screen. This is the ultimate version. <laughs> it goes full screen and that's not all. It has super arm. So once he starts punching, he'll go through any projectile, any button, he'll hit them and he gets a full combo. So if his hits full screen, just mash, right? Pop, pop, pop. Just a real simple combo right there, about 7,000 damage. So that moves incredibly strong. It only costs 50 meter and if it hits, you get 25 back. So before he used to struggle really hard with zoners, and he still does, but it's not hopeless because all it takes is one good read on the ultimate punch and you can win the round. But that's not my favorite one. His real best ultimate skill, this is one that got me all the way up to S++, S++ rank, is the power dunk. So early I was talking about those block strings, right? You do these like kind of crazy block strings in the corner, your opponent's blocking. Once they start blocking, you want to try and sneak in some grabs too. Once you can tell that they're scared, you want to start sneaking some grabs. That's level two. Level three, once you start fighting people that are going to tech the grabs, okay? So I have her ready to try teching a grab after a block string, right? I'm going to run up. If I try and throw her, oh man, we tech. But here's the ultimate skill, ready? Oh my God. <laughs> it's over. You see that? Did you set damage at the top? That's me. Uh, There's not even optimal. I'm just making up. I'm just kind of pressing buttons. 8,300 damage. So if you get them into the corner with the chip, if this connects, you won. How many rounds have I been losing and all it takes is one bonk and then that's it, I win. So remember that, remember, that's how you're gonna use your meter. And then the other big change, the other big change here too, he's got EXDP now. His big weaknesses from the last game all kind of got fixed in this one. So he's way more solid, really fun character. If you're asking me combos, I don't want to show you too many combos, but here, this is a really important one. Ready? After the dash L, if it hits like that, Okay, in the corner, you can just freestyle because all of his stuff links together. So you can just make up like you could do like that, whatever. Just experiment. Anything works. I showed you this one, right? Connect off that and then go into whatever you want. Pop, pop, pop. And then this one again. There you go. All right, you got it. You're in. So let's play some matches. I'll explain what I'm doing in the game. You'll see this character is very, very fun. And most importantly, Last but not least, because I know you're going to ask me in the comments, Juno, what's that little symbol with the one? Forget about it. Just pretend it does not exist. Put some tape over your monitor. Not important. Do not think about it. All right, so here we go. I'm going to play Siegfried. I don't really know this character, but I'm going to just punch. Like I've been saying, right? I'm going to poke with the light punch. And now the heavy punch. All right, it's my turn. Hey, hey, DP, thank you. No, you DP? No. Plus, plus. Plus. Okay, see, I forced the DP out. So it's okay. You're going to get DP'd a lot when you play this character. 
But it's okay, because all it takes is like one good bait, DP back. Right, you keep the pressure going and they're gonna crack. So they're gonna match at the wrong time. They're gonna DP. You're gonna get hit. You have to be like, okay. It's just, it's data. So next time you just hold back a little bit, bait the DP and then steal around. DP coming soon? Hey, just like I said, here we go. Pop, 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 pop. Plus. Run at me, I got DP now. DP, no. Punch. So you see, he's not, he's not like a flashy character. You really, like, when I, whenever I'm saying plus, you're really just fishing for those plus frames. So you can continue the pressure, cause them to crack, get the chip damage, and also you're pushing them to the corner the whole time. Use this move as much as you can, by the way. This move is so cheap. Even if you're not a Swords player, you <laughs> this move is so stupid. Before they nerf it. Plus. DP, no. Hey, it hit? Okay. And again, you see, it just made up a combo. That was not like a combo I knew. I just cycled through my special. That's all you have to do. Plus, my turn. Just cash out here, very easy. Another one. I'm sorry, I'm sure you're like, Juna, you're not showing me anything. You're not, I'm telling you, I'm showing you right now. There is no secret like technique. Just punch. All right, let's see if we can hit him for full screen, ready? Let's see if we can teach him a lesson. Punch, I got another one. Got him. Yeah, that's guaranteed, right? So in the last game, that's like checkmate. If they put out like a fireball against swords in the last game, there's like nothing he could do. He was such a bad character. But now like Gran, like Jita right here, the sheep girl, and what's it, Anila, right? Siegfried, the character tried to lame him out. Just super armor through that and just steal the round. All right, so here's another bad matchup for Soriz, right? Cause she's like a, a lame, like trap zoner character. So in the last game, you know, he's helpless. But I got a chance now. We're in there, by the way. We're in the corner. Plus. I'm just going to guard cancel to keep the position. Let's see. No. Plus. There it is. Right? So DP is going to come out, like I said. You can't get frustrated. You're going to get frustrated. Sorry. You have to just be like, okay. I got 100 meter. Uh-oh. Right to the trap. Do it again. And we're in the corner now. Plus. I'm still in it, boys. All it takes is one... Oh, yeah, good game. <laughs> I never lie to you when I make these guys. Right? I'm telling you and I'm showing you. And once you get better, once you get, like, high rank, you'll realize, like, oh, the good players know how to deal with this stuff. But the thing is, the way they deal with it is they have to look out for it. It gives you an opportunity to just run in there. Oh, he's teching? You see how he teched? There you go. I warned you. I dropped the combo. It still only did that much. I'm plus, by the way. I forgot to mention, that's also plus. Man, what a character. So, right, that round I showed you the throw the throw bait, right? The power dunk to blow up the throw. I showed you the super armor punch. I showed you how you pressure, just slowly bring him in there. Hey, hey, hey. All right, that was a big combo drop. It's okay. He's teching. He's teching. Uh-oh. He's teching. There you go. Right? Take notes. Like, okay, this person's scared now. They're going to DP now. So that's when you just back off a little bit. Let him DP and kill him. He's fun. It's a lot of, like, very high pace. Very fast pace, I mean, uh, RPS situations. What the hell? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have no clue. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm learning too. He's a good character to pick because you don't have to learn what he does. You can learn what the other characters are doing. That that was my strat for starting with him. Oh, wow. All right, let's bait a DP and win. Or do this. Hey. DP or something? No? He's scared, right? So you, you put the fear, like I said, once you recognize they're not challenging, go for a grab. Uh-oh. <laughs> One, two, three. Hey. He's scared, so I'm gonna throw. 
Did I press the button? Yeah, yeah. Hey! I got 50 meter. Which of my ultimate builds should I use? I know which one. This one. <laughs> All right, that's enough. That's enough. Hopefully, hopefully you, you got a, an idea. So let's go back real quick. All right, so you see. Now, one of the, the big things in this game that determines like character strength is how strong their ultimate abilities are. And like I said, this is incredible. This is incredible. Having a DP on this character is incredible. Like those three tools added so much to his already like very kind of simple game plan. And that's it, right? There's not really much else in, in a simple guide. This, this is all you need to know. I'll give you one last trick for the road. You know, I don't want to encourage this, but ready? Cover your eyes. So this is another big change that happened. SSBA, like his ultimate right here, does not cost meter. It does not cost any meter that now. Uh, if you're at low health, if your life bar is blue and you have 100, you can activate for free. So if you ever find yourself in a position where, you know, you're full screen or something, just activate. And another great way to do it, almost every round, if I find myself in a situation, I'll do this, ready? So she's gonna attack me, ready? I'm gonna block, okay? When you're pressured and you're blocking, guard cancel, activate. You get the free activation. If it's a hard knockdown, you keep the pressure going. It's, it's, guard cancel is safe. Plus on block, it does damage. It's a bit broken right now. So if you're low, if you have the BP, just do it. Activate and then go ham. What happens in this mode, I'll, I'll read, read the guide, but you see he moves faster. This is stronger. And then if you want to style and press your friends, he's got a new command grab super. This costs 100 meter though. But, uh... Max, give that a 10 out of 10. All right, so that's it. Again, very, very, very simple character. He really teaches you a lot about kind of how to pressure in fighting games, you know, how to get plus frames, when to take your turn, when to steal your turn. Once you get better, your opponents will know that too. So they'll know like, it's Sora's turn attack, so I'm gonna block. Or it's gonna be like, it's my turn attack, so I'm gonna attack. So once you both understand the rules, then you can start doing like mind games and stuff, like attacking when it's not your turn, bringing in more DPs, like baiting the DP, baiting the DP, bait, da, 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 like levels and levels, levels, really, really fun. Anyway, that's enough. If you got any questions, let me know. I might put out a more technical guide, but if you're still watching, I'll let you know. I'm I'm done. I'm flushing this character. He's fun, but he's not the like, top tier in this game, are mighty cheap right now. He struggles. He struggles. He's got a chance to beat everybody with his damage. He's got he's like a good like one chance character, but he gets smoked by the top tier. So that's it. Goodbye, Soros. Hello, near? Six? I don't know. Look for that guide in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a question. I'll see you next one. Peace.